Okay, so in the last video I showed you how to model this geometry for the bridge and in this video I'm going to show you how to take the image that was calibrated in the camera and project that image onto the geometry. So how do we do that? First thing we have to do is we have to add a modifier to the geometry. So I'm going to select it and go to the modifiers tab and I'm going to add this modifier called UV project. and where it says projectors here, just below, I'm going to click this eyedropper and I'm going to select my camera and that's the object that's going to be doing the projecting so the camera is going to project so from this origin it's going to project the image onto the surface and I also have to get the aspect ratio of the image that I'm projecting so this is my image if I right click and go to properties and then go to details I can see that the resolution is 4032 by 3024 pixels. So I'm just going to type that in. And the next thing we need to do is add a material to the object. I'm going to just pull up the timeline here and I'm going to change the workspace to the shader editor. And I'm going to press add new to add a new material. And by default, we get this principled BSDF shader. I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to add a, an image texture node. This is going to be our image texture. So, so I'm going to search for it. You can search for nodes by pressing Shift A. And then I'm going to open up the image from my file browser. There it is. And then I'm going to create an emission shader. I'm going to search emission. Add that. And then connect it to my image texture and then I'm going to put the output into the material output and nothing happens because we need to change the shading mode to textured so if you go to this little button in the corner here you can enable textured view and we can see that we have something being projected but it looks a bit wonky uh, like we've got the, the tracks are forming these kind of crazy zigzags and that's because the model that we have uh, doesn't have very much geometry. So we can fix that by adding some new geometry. If I press tab, go into edit mode, and then if I press control R, I can add edge loops. Um, so if I hover around, you can see that it gives me a hint at where I could put these edge loops. I'm gonna put some on the train tracks here. Uh, so if I just hover and then press the plus icon, or you can scroll your mouse wheel, make more or less. I'm gonna add some of these edge loops. I'm going to right click to set them down where they are and I'm going to add a few of these edge loops I'm going to press ctrl R again, I'm going to add a few more on top of the bridge and right click to set them down I'm going to add some to this box as well uh, and I'm also going to add a few on the platform here generally the more the better but you'll find that once you've added a few uh, there's a diminishing return on the improvement in the quality the other thing is that the texture is repeating on the boundary so we can fix that by going to the image texture node and where it says repeat, I'm going to change that to clip. So you can see it clips everything beyond the boundary. We can go a step further and we can say that instead of having this black background, I want to have, I can have it just transparent. And so if I add a, um, a transparency shader, transparent BSDF, and then if I add a mix shader, I can mix the transparent with the emission the output to the material and then the trick is if I choose the alpha value of the image texture that is everything that isn't the image I can plug that into the mix value and nothing happens immediately because this object doesn't have transparency turned on but if I go down here to options and where it says blend mode I can choose alpha blend and that will make all of those areas that were alpha in the image texture alpha in the model and we've still got a few glitchy bits coming through like this bit here looks a bit weird and that's because we're currently showing back faces and I want to disable them so I'm just gonna check this box where it says show back face and that is basically how you project the texture you can also I mean you can also keep modeling after you've done this so if I was to if so say I wanted to extend the tracks further back I could extrude along the x-axis I could keep modeling but obviously if I get if I went far far enough you can see that the image resolution gets gets lower and lower as you go further into the distance so with this technique it's good to stay relatively close to the original camera position I've also made an add-on to automate this process which you can download for free I'll put a link in the description 
So all you have to do is add the image to the camera, select the camera, and the object, and then press project image, and it will automatically project the image onto the geometry for you. So it just speeds up the whole process. And that's it. Thanks.